One of the inspiring stories of success in modern India is that of Dr. Thonse Madhav Anand Pai. He laid strong foundations in banking, education and medicine in the coastal districts of Karnataka. Decades ago, when most people could not even envision his unorthodox thoughts, he built Manipal on the hard laterite rocks of a barren hilltop. Today, Manipal is synonym with world-class educational institutions and is openly emulated by many. Dr. TMA Pai pursued many unconventional methods which the tradition-bound society could only criticize and condemn. Founder of Manipal Group, the late Dr. TMA Pai, who, as I always say, was a visionary, always used to think much ahead of his times. That's why he was mistaken uh, that because he is just a theoretician, not a practical man. That was the impression of many people, including his very, very close associates. Believing that education is a country's great wealth, he started the Academy of General Education on the 18th of September in 1942. The Academy was started in 1942, but the office was set up in Manipal at that 1953. So he was always thinking about what he can do. So whenever any visitor comes here, he used to take them around and explain what mission he is undertaking to develop this barren hill. So every day he will, he will have someone, even if nobody is there, he will just walk out with the stick. And there are two assistants, elderly people and myself. Valuing each component of the society as an active stakeholder, Dr. TMA Pai, 75 years ago, opened the fortunes of this region. The general public joined hands with Dr. TMA Pai in bringing about a social change. So with the full cooperation of the people, he was able to build so many institutions. Even today, after so many years, to start a small school with all the resources, I find it very, very difficult. The Academy of General Education initially started with imparting skill-oriented education at different levels that included courses in radio repairing, nursing, printing, music, fine arts and others. He was able to find a lot of uneducated people. So he wanted to give them some opportunity in education. And there were no enough schools. So like uh, today we are talking about skill development. He started it in 1942, like book binding, you know, printing. So a lot of people in 1942, he was able to attract who are not having any formal education. Because formal education means there were hardly any schools. At the same time, he also started the Manipal Lower Primary School and later added the Higher Primary School there. In 1949, under the flagship of Academy of General Education, he started the first college called the Mahatma Gandhi Memorial College. He wanted colleges in every taluka headquarters. Slowly but steadily, the Academy of General Education catered to the numerous children in the neighboring areas who either had to walk a long distance for education or discontinue their studies for the lack of facilities. People from the neighboring areas joined hands with Dr. Pai's efforts and the number of institutions grew. In 1953, Dr. Pai stunned other educationalists by setting up India's first ever privately sponsored medical college, the Kasturba Medical College, on a cooperative basis. Starting a medical college in a barren hilltop, it is to a certain extent that uh, one of his professors of obstetrics and gynecology, uh, Dr. Lakshman Swami Mudaliyar, who was a, a gynecologist of great repute, he was then the vice chancellor of the prestigious Madras University. Then uh, he told him, I believe you are a very good student. But the way you talk about starting a private medical college, self-financing in a barren hilltop where there are no nothing uh, worth the name, 
including in even a small hospital, thinking of starting a medical uh, college in that barren hilltop in a remote village called Manipal. Really, I suspect whether your mental acumen is okay or not. So, if you perceive or continue with this idea, we may have to take some drastic action, including putting you behind the bars. See, that was the amount of discouragement that he got, not only from his mentor and teacher, and his close associates here, you know, who were supporting him all in starting the Academy of General Education with institutions, degree colleges, etc., etc. But they were very much against starting a medical college. Dr. Pai's distinct formula of educational planning and education financing from cooperative sources was by far the greatest achievement in higher education those days. As Dr. Pai believed, a well-conceived idea implemented with dedication, devotion and dynamism gets people's support and cooperation. We see the realization of this idea in the success of the Academy of General Education. It shows how a modest beginning with a few vocational courses has grown into 30 large institutions educating about 1 lakh students today. Dr. Pai was not merely a founder of colleges, he was a builder of colleges. Taking interest in your surroundings is the key to success, said Dr. Pai, and set the example.